Hi folks and welcome to today's video, cryotherapy for low back pain. Now, before we get into today's video, don't forget if you are enjoying the content I bring to you on a weekly basis, hit that subscribe button. I'm creating content for those out there suffering from low back pain, sciatica nerve pain, herniated disc pain, and if you want me to help you, then please subscribe to this channel. You'll be updated on a weekly basis when I bring out new content for you. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So folks, cryotherapy for low back pain. Now you might be wondering, what on earth is cryotherapy, okay? So basically cryotherapy, you can have local cryotherapy and you can have what's called whole body cryotherapy. And essentially it is a very, very, very cold uh, type of therapy. Uh, sometimes down to minus 240 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, minus 160 degrees Celsius. And you essentially will step inside a chamber. Okay, it might come up to here, you're sort of inside this chamber, your head sticking out. Or you'll actually go into a room, like a little room, like a little uh, sort of like, I don't know, six feet by eight feet room. And there's actually a picture that's gonna flash up on the screen there of me about to go into a cryo chamber. And then you see a picture of me inside the cryo chamber. I've got uh, my gloves on there, I've got like a headgear, a mask and I'm wearing these like really uh, toasty booties, but everything else is exposed skin. Now essentially, it's very, very dry air, and you're only there for maybe one, two, three, four minutes sometimes, so you won't get any skin burn, but it does have positive effects on the body, and it's been studied uh, across many different disciplines of sports and also rehabilitation. And what I wanna talk about today is how does it help with low back pain, chronic low back pain, these types of things. So I did mention there was also a local uh, type of therapy. Um, it's actually like, a, imagine a vacuum cleaner and that actually blows, like a tube, it blows this cold air. It, it's much, much warmer, it's not as cold as when you go in the chamber. So today I just wanna focus on the whole body chamber type activity. So does it work? Well, back in 2020, they did a large review study of 25 different studies, including 20 uh, meta-analysis, and it was across many different chronic pain conditions. And the reviewers did find that yes, it does have a significant impact on pain in that it does lower pain for those sufferers significantly, okay? So it does have a positive effect on those suffering from pain issues. Now, what about low back pain? Well, yes, within those studies, they did look at people suffering from chronic lower back pain, from you know, herniated discs. Uh, chronic pain is something which of course lasts for more than three months, generally. And in those particular cases, yes, they also found that people did have significant reductions in pain. Now, how often would you go? So if you do have access to this type of thing, uh, maybe one in your city, your town, um, hopefully your insurance you know, may be able to pay for it. Sometimes it's not that expensive depending where you live in the world. Most of the studies were running sort of two, three, four, up to five times per week, okay? Now, I would recommend you try it at least two to three times minimum if you're gonna give it a go, okay? And people also say, well, I'm gonna go, so how does it actually work? What's the, what's the mechanism behind it? How does it help reduce pain? Well, it's actually multifactorial. Um, there's many different contributing factors that the hypothesize could be the reason for that reduction in pain. One of the first ones is it reduces edema. Now, edema is just a medical term for swelling, okay? So this very, very cold environment will actually constrict blood vessels and it will reduce swelling. Now, along with that, it also reduces inflammation. When they've, again, done studies on the subjects involved uh, in the experiments, they did find a reduction in interleukin-1, interleukin-6. These are uh, inflammatory markers. These were reduced after the therapy and during the, the time of the study. Um, it also decreases oxidative stress and increases antioxidant status. Uh, many autoimmune disorders, there is a high output of oxidative stress. Cryotherapy can help reduce these, which will, along with increasing antioxidant status, help reduce pain and make the people feel better. Now, another big one, especially those suffering from, you know, sciatic and nerve pain issues, it actually reduces nerve conduction velocity. Now, in layman's terms, that's basically the speed of the pain signal going back to the brain. Okay, that's very layman's uh, in terms of explaining it. But what it means is for us, we actually feel less pain, we can actually tolerate pain, yeah, because there's a decrease in signals going to the brain. So from many sides, cryotherapy will help and it'll help uh, under many different guises, as I just mentioned, this multifactorial um, modality. So some of the key takeaways, if you are interested in giving it a try, 
I did it myself. Um, I actually did it. I didn't do it during my, my back pain recovery, my back pain struggles. Um, I was old school with my therapy and stretches and stuff like that. But I do go to cryotherapy myself. I use it as a kind of rejuvenation tool after I've been working out hard. Um, I like, it gives you an endorphin rush, it makes you feel good. Um, I meet a lot of people, you know, when I go there and I talk to them, it's like, you know, what are you here for? Is it an injury? Is it this? Is it that? Uh, many people, feel they just, like, they'll come, you know, kind of after lunch, you know, they get a bit tired or whatever, they feel it gives them a boost. And it does give this sort of activity of an endorphin, uh, like a high, if you will. And I love it for that. So I still go myself two, three times a week. When I get the chance, I will go. If you're interested in trying it, a couple of things to, to you know, point out. Again, from the research, minimum times you want to be trying it is two, preferably three times minimum uh, per week. It only normally takes two to four minutes of actual being in the uh, cryotherapy chamber itself. You've got all the protective headgear on, okay, so your ear's not going to fall off, right? <laughs> you won't lose a nipple or a big toe, okay? It's perfectly safe in that respect. Uh, they normally take your blood pressure and do, they'll do a, sort of a quick uh, physical activity readiness questionnaire before you go in, so don't panic on that side. Um, temperature wise, you want to make sure it's at least minimum minus 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That's roughly 100 minus 110 degrees Celsius. Okay. So there is a place in your neighborhood. Okay. You're in suffering from chronic pain, back pain issues. You've not tried it before. I would recommend it. Okay. Talk to your doctor first, of course, make sure you get the approval before you go. But if it's in your area, perhaps the insurance won't pay for it, give it a try, okay? Now listen, if you want to read up on the research I was talking about, um, I've actually also got another blog which talks about this specifically, cryotherapy for low back pain. It's all in the description down below, okay? So after this video, you can go and check it out. Okay guys, listen, thanks for listening. Any questions on cryotherapy or lower back pain management, etc., hit me up in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and share the video, and of course, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.